Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week and it doesn't matter which sport you're betting on. So we're going to take a look at some games for the NBA for January the 31st which is on a Friday and as the NBA is heading quickly towards the All-Star break teams are trying to get on a roll to make it push in the second half for the playoffs. So let's take a look at some of the games here. And remember, if you're not already a member, please join and you will have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need to help make your picks and win big. So let's scroll down through here and take a look at some of the action for Friday. we we'll take a look at the Toronto Raptors and the Detroit Pistons. The Raptors have pulled on top in the Atlantic Division and are third in the Eastern Conference. They take on the Pistons, who have struggled. They are only 17-31 overall and 9-16 at home. You will see that the Raptors are burning hot at the moment, and they have won their last six. Detroit is ice cold down. They have lost their last three and lost four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the upward trend for Toronto. They're up to plus 27, and Detroit is on a bit of a downward trend over the last uh, few days. They are down to plus nine. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups this season, Toronto has taken both games. They won by 13 points on the road, and they won by 12 points at home. So it's been pretty easy sailing for the Raptors so far. So you're considering the over and under. You see here that Toronto is playing in games trending over the line, the red line compared to the blue line. So it's plus two right there. And for Detroit, you can see they are playing in games trending over the line as well. Plus six. So Betting the over is a very wise play in this one. You want to see how stable the two teams have been. Toronto is more stable at plus 23 compared to plus 10. And all this really means is that Toronto is performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So if you take a look at this here, there's really no indication that Detroit can really play with Toronto at all. Toronto should win this one again by double digits. And the next game we want to look at is the Dallas Mavericks and the Houston Rockets. This is a pretty good matchup in the Western Conference. Battling for playoff positioning, the Mavericks are fifth in the Western Conference, while the Rockets are currently sixth. Dallas is 16-6 and six on the road. Houston has a nearly identical home record at 15-7. and seven. You see both teams are in around the average category for status. Mavericks are average up. Winners of four out of their last six. Houston is average at the moment. Winners of three out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can also see that the teams are very close. Again, both on a bit of a downward trend. You see the, the Mavericks were at plus 21 a few days ago. They're down to plus 17. And Houston has fallen from plus 18 down to plus 16. So again, they're very closely matched. If you're considering the over and under, we'll take a look at the over and under. You see that Dallas was trending in games playing over not long ago, but now they're trending under. And if you look down here at Houston, they're also trending under. So expect more of a defensive battle, and going for the under is a wise play. If you want to see how stable the two teams are, again, both teams are pretty stable, plus 13 to plus 10. So consider their favorite underdog status. Uh, don't use that solely to determine, but you consider that pretty well as far as how you want to make your bet on this one. Uh, it's a very tight matchup. I really see that um, it should be close. If you look at the head-to-head uh, -head matchups between the two teams, the first meeting was a 14-point win for the Mavericks on the road. I don't expect a 14-point win this time, but I do think that the Mavericks will be a slight road underdog, but will come away with the win in this one. You look at the Denver Nuggets and the Milwaukee Bucks. This is the featured game of the day. The Denver Nuggets are third in the Western Conference and are 14 and 8 on the road. The Bucks have the best record in the NBA at 40 and 6 and are 21 and 2 at home. See, both teams are burning hot at the moment. Denver won their last two and four out of their last six. Milwaukee has won their last six games and most of them rather easily. If you look at the power ranking indicator, it won't be a surprise for you to see that Denver, uh, excuse me, Milwaukee here is up at the top at plus 29. Denver, after being up, uh, let's see, on January the 14th, they were at plus 27. They've been up and down since. They're back on a little bit of an upward trend, and they're at plus 20 at the moment. If considering the over and under, you will see Denver is playing in games trending under the line. 
Milwaukee is playing in games trending over the line. Because of the difference, it's probably best to avoid the over-under in this game. How stable are the two teams? How well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? You'll notice here that Milwaukee is extremely stable. Not a surprise being 40-6. and six. Most of the time they are favorites. Most of the time they are winning. They are at plus 33. And Denver is at plus 16. Denver is a strong team and should put up a pretty good fight. But it's really extremely difficult to beat Milwaukee at home. They are the best team. And go with the Bucks to pull away in this one late after Denver plays close for some period of time. Oklahoma City at Phoenix. Another Western Conference battle now. We have Oklahoma City is holding on to the seventh seed in the West and 13 and 10 on the road. Phoenix is just 19 and 27 overall and 9 and 16 at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see Oklahoma City is up to plus 22. Phoenix has trended upward over the last few days. They are from, went up from plus 10 to plus 14. The head to head matchup. First game of the season was won easily by Oklahoma City by 18 points at home. See the Thunder right now is burning hot down compared to Phoenix at average down. And the Thunder have won five out of their last six, coming off a 10 point loss to Dallas. The Suns uh, have alternated wins and losses over their last six, so they are three and three over their last six. If you're considering the over and under, if you look at this, Oklahoma City is playing in games trending well over the line. Phoenix is playing in games relatively far under the line. So again, because of the differences, I would probably avoid betting the over or under in this matchup. So we look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been. Phoenix is not very stable at all, just barely above zero. They're at plus three. So take it with a grain of salt, whatever their favorite underdog status is. Oklahoma City has been considerably more uh, consistent with their status and they're at plus 12. Despite playing on the road, the Thunder should have enough to take down the Suns in this one. So we're going to take a look at the last game for the day and it's the Portland Trailblazers at the Los Angeles Lakers. Both teams are in the average range right now. Uh, Portland has won three out of their last six. The Lakers have won three out of their last six, coming off a 17-point loss at Philadelphia. The Lakers have the best work record in the Western Conference and are 16-5 at home. Portland has slumped to 20-27 and overall and 9-16 and on the road. If you want to see the power rankings indicator, which is always a good sign of how the teams are doing, Portland is down here at plus 12. The Lakers are up to plus 27 after being plus 23 just uh, a little less than a week ago. Head-to-head, -head, the first game of the season was won by the Lakers by 23 on the road. They won the second one by 8 on the road also. They've been playing very well against Portland. You want to consider the over and under. Again, you see Portland is playing in games trending slightly over the line. The Lakers are playing in games pretty far over the line, so over is it going to be a good play. Expect a high-scoring game in this one. How stable are the two teams? Again, I always like to look at this. And both of them are relatively stable. Actually, pretty stable here. Plus 21 and plus 19. So they generally perform according to their favorite underdog status. And I expect the same thing to continue in this one. The Lakers are just really too strong. And they have dominated Portland as of late. And they will continue to do so to extend their record to 3-0 on the season against the Trailblazers. So that's it for the games. But I want you to take notes here. If you look up at the top here. I want you to see this, and this is one thing you can really look at to help you with your picks. You see under Hot Trends, Top Automated Systems. So if you click on the Top Automated Systems, you will come up with this. And you want to scroll down and pick whatever sport you want. In this case, you want to pick basketball because we are picking basketball games. And then you will see all the top systems according to basketball. You will see the profit chart. You will see profit right here at 248 for this one system. And then the second system here has... 374, and there's a whole bunch of other things you can look at also to make your picks that much better for you. So there you have it. Those are the games for this weekend. Enjoy, happy betting, and we will see you next week.